Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you for joining us again today. Now we have a fabulous story for you. Today's book is called David Speaks, A Brother with Autism. Now this story was written by Tisha and Nicholas Glover and it's about Nicholas and his little brother, Davis, who's just a little bit different. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Nicholas, a friendly child, sometimes felt all alone because he was the only little boy in his home. Now one day, Nicholas got the most exciting news from his mother. In just a few months, he would be a big brother. <laughs> I'll have a best friend always by my side, Nicholas said. And then the big day came. Yes. And baby Davis arrived. <laughs> when it's bigger, we will have so much fun riding bikes, playing catch, and running in the sun. <laughs> now, every day, Nicholas tried to teach Davis something new, and he understood. That's what big brothers were supposed to do. I'll teach him to wave. I'll teach him to smile. And I'll teach him to stand by himself in a while. But Davis didn't smile. Davis didn't even wave. Now his doctor said that Davis is developmentally delayed. Now this was not expected. It was not in the plan. So Davy saw therapist to help him understand. Now with the help from Big Brother, Davis learned how to walk and Nicholas was sure that he would teach him to talk. Davis learned sign language and to use cue cards and little Davis was trying so very hard but not a word did he harder as his big brother wished and then he was referred to another specialist and the psychologist said autism is the diagnosis. His communication is different and I'm sure that you have noticed. <sighs> now autism meant that the family was extra prepared for a fearless little boy who tried anything he did but everyday activities were unpredictable. Now, supermarket shopping would become a spectacle. The people, the bright lights, the noise was all too much. And out of nowhere, Davis would make a big fuss. Now, he would cover his ears and he would chew on his shirt. He'd squint his eyes as though the light even hurt. He'd cry. He'd kick, he'd yell and scream. Nicholas would be embarrassed by the scene. But Nicholas understood. Davis had no control. He'd been having meltdowns since he was two years old. Now one day, Davis had the worst meltdown that he had ever had. People stared and pointed as if it was just being bad. Now Nicholas was hurt by their attempt to cause shame. Now couldn't they see that his brother was in pain? 
so Nicholas all Davis closely and felt his heart beat. Breathe, 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 little brother. You're safe with me. <sighs> now, while some people only noticed the spectacle, Nicholas knew that his brother was exceptional. On the trampoline, no one could jump higher, a feat that Nicholas did wow. admire. Now, he put Nicholas' trains in the perfect line, intensely focused the entire time. And he could climb trees to amazing heights, and then he would relax on the branches without a fright. Now, thinking of his talents compelled Nicholas to say, I love you, Davis, and all your special ways. And when he looked into his eyes, there was no doubt. He knew his little brother, Davis, was saying, I love you, too. <laughs> the end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. You see, boys and girls, it's okay to be a little different. Thank you for joining us again for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.